Hello and welcome to part one of the BODOS Design Getting Started with the free download. My name is David Gingery and I am the product specialist for Rexroth Mobile Electronics. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact me. Okay, let's get started. Step one is download and install the BODOS Design program. Please navigate to the address shown, boschrexroth-us.com slash mh-electronics. Next, on the right of the screen, click the button labeled Download Free Software Tools. Then, click the link BODOS Design. Below, it should open up and you should see Features and Downloads. Click the Download link. You'll see a list of several items to choose from. Click the top selection for the BODOS Design program. Once this file is downloaded, unzip the file and run the setup program by double-clicking the file with the EXE extension. And please note that the current version may be different than what is published in this video. Once the setup program is running, click Next at the welcome screen. Next, check the box to accept the license agreement and click Next. On the Components screen, verify the Full Install is selected and click Next. Next, you'll have the opportunity to change the install location. However, it is recommended to keep the default settings and installation path. Click Next. At the Start Menu folder, simply click the Install button and the installation will begin. After a few minutes, the install will complete. Simply uncheck the boxes on the final screen and click Finish. On to step two, which is to download and install the BODOS design target files. These are the files that are specific to the RC controller that you'll be using. Click the target setup file just under the program setup file. And please note again, that the current version may be different than what is published in this video. When the file is downloaded, unzip the file and double click the file with the EXE extension. Once the program is running, click Next at the welcome screen. Click the checkbox to accept the license agreement and click Next. And last, you'll have the opportunity to change the install location. However, again, it's recommended to keep the default settings and installation path. Click Install. After a few minutes, the install will complete, and again, click Finish to exit the setup. Next is Step 3. We will start the BODOS Design program by double-clicking the BODOS icon with the blue pencil or selecting it from your Start menu. The user interface for BODOS Design is very straightforward. The menu bar and the toolbar are both synonymous with typical Windows programs. Moving on to the leftmost area, we'll refer to this as the Object Organizer. This is home to the POUs, Project Organizational Units. See the lower left tab. The next tab is where the data types are defined. Typically these are structures and enumerations. The third tab is for visualizations. And this is where you will interact with the program as the user. Then the last tab is the Resources tab. This is where the global variables reside, as well as many other program constants and library definitions. We'll talk more about that in the next video. The large space in the upper right portion of the screen is the workspace. This is where we'll be writing the programs and or dropping the graphic programming symbols in. The smaller space in the lower right part of the screen is the status bar, or status area. This is where we will see error codes and other communications between the compiler and the outside world. Step 4. This is the last step in this video, and we will be loading and running a sample program included with BODOS called First Steps. To do this, click the Open Folder icon, or click File and then Open. Browse to the Codasys Examples folder and select the program called First Steps. Then click the Open button. Once the program is loaded, you may have to resize the windows a bit to properly view each section. As you can see, 
Each of our areas are now populated. The first program that is to be executed in every BODOS program is called the PLC underscore PRG. If you click on the PLC PRG program, you'll see that the first subroutine it calls is the machine program, colored green in this example. You'll see the program, colored yellow in the diagram. Lastly, the program uses a visualization called observation, which interacts with the user. The first step in executing any program is logging in or compiling the program. To do this, from the menu bar, click online and then click login. Once that's completed with no errors, we can now run the program. Again, from the menu bar, click online and then click run. You should notice that in the workspace area, the INIT or init block turns dark blue. This indicates which block of the program is being executed. At this point, the program is waiting for the user to make a selection. The first thing we'll do is enable the animation by clicking the start button, which turns green. Then to get the blue block moving, click the OK button just to the left of the start button. Note there is a small counter under the start button, which will count how many times the block has gone around. When the block is about to stop, the warning light turns red. Then shortly thereafter, the stop light turns red and the blue square stops moving. To start the block moving again, simply click the OK button. Well, that's it for this portion of the demo program. If you'd like to learn more about specific code assist commands or have general code assist questions, simply click the Help button from the menu bar. Lastly, if you'd like to read over the API or application programming interface for the RexRaw 30 controllers, simply browse to the CAA-merger-3 .chm file and execute it from the path shown on this page. If you're interested in writing a sample program for a BODOS controller, then search for part two, Programming BODOS Design Using Fast Software Solutions. Thank you for watching.